Hi, I'm Nina Nesbitt, and these are Records in My Life. Thank you so much for uh, Nina to, for taking the time to be on Records in My Life. We really, really appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to say um, congratulations because you know our last interview was um, rescheduled because you got another asked again to open for the amazing Stevie Nicks, who I yeah. adore, obviously in Fleetwood Mac. Uh, yeah. that, that's great. How, how was that Thank experience? You. It was amazing. It was. I was saying earlier, it feels like some sort of dream now that it's over just you know I've done so many amazing tours with big artists but Stevie Nicks is a living legend in my eyes so yeah getting to support her and then getting to watch her set every night was just so cool do you have because this show's called records in my life do you have a favorite Fleetwood Mac or Stevie Nicks record um I have two that I'll say from the show as well, live. Obviously, Edge of Seventeen. Just, I don't even know how you write that song. It's just, I don't even know what it is about it. It's just got a, a really special energy to it. Um, and yeah, there's just something about her voice as well that's just so, it's just so like gritty in a good way. And then, obviously again a bit of an obvious choice but landslide when Beautiful. she yeah when she played that and she dedicated it to christine mcvee i was howling in the audience it was so sad and so beautiful um and yeah i'm like how does anyone write that song it's crazy yeah she's lived um i mean from experience, she's lived quite the life, like from obviously going back to the days of Fleetwood Mac, which had a fairly, uh, quite the interesting story to her, obviously, solo stuff and, you know, so many great collaborations with Tom Petty, et cetera, et cetera. But mm -hmm. uh, let's hear more of you and less of me because your <laughs> show is about you. Your new record, uh, Mountain Music, is dropping in, in a little while, really, really exciting. and. Tell us a bit about who you collaborated with and which songs are you really proud of off it? Yeah, it's my, f I know everyone says this, but it's my favorite record that I've made so far. And it feels like I'm finally in the lane that I'm supposed to be in. I spent a lot of time writing for other artists prior to making this record. And I think working across so many genres, it just became clear to me that folk is where I started and where I've ended up now um, and yeah I have I have a lot of favourites but my favourite song is probably Parachute on the album which is a song it's inspired by a book called Quiet by Susan Cain I don't know if you've read it but it was a great book and it's about being an introvert in a world of extroverts and it does like lots of studies into like universities and stuff and does studies in in groups of like extroverts and introverts together and who you know who has more ideas and everyone thinks it's the extroverts but a lot of the time the introverts have great ideas too they're just a lot quieter and maybe don't speak up and it just resonated with me because I feel like I have so much that I want to say and so much I want to write about and I feel like so often my anxiety or shyness sort of stops me from doing it and I think with this record I've really sort of let that go and, and opened up and become a bit more comfortable with being honest and vulnerable through my music so Parachute is one of my favourites for that. Thank you again for being on Records in My Life and I appreciate your honesty and your, your um, this show is about you, the artists and the records that really inspired you. You just kind of segue into my next question. You were talking about the boss, Bruce Springsteen. And uh, once again, the show's not about me, but he's one of my favorite artists of all time. Can you give us a couple of records which you um, listen to by him on a regular basis? I like Dancing in the Dark. Love that one. That is a huge favorite of mine. I actually weirdly like 
I like his poppier stuff. Um, I like a lot of the kind of more bandy stuff as well. But that one is just such a classic song. And I don't know, there's just, there's something about his, like those beats and the lyrics um, and that voice as well, just like, just feels like it's been places. Um, so that would be a big inspiration of mine. Um, and I'm on Fire, I think is one of the most beautiful songs ever written. Um, that's definitely, yeah, definitely a huge one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with those two. You recently got some high praise from one of the biggest uh, stars in the world, probably the biggest, the Taylor, Taylor Swift, you know, the Taylor Swift effect, and she had some really nice things to say about you. Do you, do you about your music, do you have a favorite uh, record by hers? Yeah, I mean, Taylor Swift was actually the reason why I picked up a guitar and the reason I wanted to be an artist. So that for me was such a full circle, surreal moment. And I remember hearing the Fearless record when I was maybe 15. She had the song called 15 on it and I automatically was sold because I hadn't heard songs that described my life so um, so intimately before and I remember sitting up the back of my music class at school and I think they had the radio on I think Love Story came on the radio and I thought wow and I think they were saying oh this girl's only 16, 17 and I was like wow because I grew up I didn't grow up in a musical family at all, so I grew up basically just chart music, pop music, and hearing that album just made me realize that you could be a young girl playing an instrument, controlling your own narrative, writing your own stories, writing your songs, and it was just so inspiring. So I think, yeah, that's definitely had a huge influence. Now you're from our conversation, I can tell you're a very pensive and and um, present, you're very, uh, you know, in the moment person, I can tell. What, what's, and I, you know, you probably have moments, ups, ups and downs. What's a, what's a record for you that will always, if you're not in the right frame of mind, but will always make you want to dance, but what's, what's the record you can drop and will definitely put a smile on your face as well? The Writings on the Wall, that record, and Survivor. If I'm in a bad mood or if I'm exhausted, and need to like just get a bit of energy any of those songs any destiny's child songs really um bills 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 jump in say my name survivor i'm out my mood so thank you destiny's child um yeah i do i do love a bit of r&b so i have to say that sticking with with the human condition and this is um i'm a nervous flyer and um i have a long flight i think ahead of me what what's a good and i know obviously you've traveled you know many logged many many miles what's a good record to listen to while uh, while in the sky to relax probably bon iver for emma that yeah. album yeah that album for me again was such a huge um, just turning point when I was whatever age I was, maybe 16 or 17, just realizing that, you know, music didn't need to follow a traditional structure and sound like something on the radio and it could just be a bit more out there. Um, and there's just something, I don't know if it's the nostalgia or what it is, there's just something in that record. I always put it on when I'm driving or traveling or if I'm feeling stressed and just, yeah, it's just something in it. We are a Canadian based show. What is your favorite Canadian record? Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill, again, was just such a huge record to find. I think I was 19 when I heard that record the first time. My manager actually recommended it to me after a breakup. It's the, it's the record that allowed me to write the song that changed my life um, and just her fearlessness in her lyrics just brutal honesty it's almost a bit feral at times which I love it's just yeah so that would be 
That'd be my favorite. On to the fun stuff. Weed, water, or wine to listen to your favorite record or write? Water. <laughs> I know that's really boring, right? <laughs> it's a, it's, it's not going to be weed. Um, I don't smoke. Um, I'm, my friends actually have this thing where they say I'm permanently stoned. So, <laughs> like, uh, there's something in my brain. I used to have panic attacks every day as a teenager. And then something just switched that's made me, like, permanently on that level. So, I'm going to go water. I like to stay hydrated. Wine, I'm not trying to write a song after a wine. I'm an early morning writer. Ah, interesting. <laughs> that that goes against the rock and roll. You know, it does. I think, Give me anyway. a wine to sing them, for right. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee with an artist, alive or dead? Joni Mitchell. Lovely. Another Canadian reference. Amazing. Yeah. I have a lot of questions for Joni Mitchell. Record of your high school years, the first one you think of. I remember it's not an album, it's a song. If that is that all right? I listened to Lucy Rose Night Bus on repeat in high school. And again, that was another sort of female artist that I found that was like, oh, I want to do that so badly. Her voice as well is just so beautiful. Words of wisdom for your fans and our audience. If you are a fellow creative, I'm going to say literally nobody knows what they're doing so just do what feels good i think i spent a lot of time when i was younger listening to opinions and trusting people in the industry who aren't necessarily creatives and i think your best stuff comes when you have less people involved in it if that makes sense i think just the purer it is and the more honest it is the better i think you can't go wrong if you're honest and another one would be it's in this book i'm reading at the moment which is full of wisdom it's called ikigai have you read it it's a japanese it's really good it's like a japanese word that i think probably getting this wrong but roughly translates to um, like your purpose in life and there's one quote in it I can't remember who it is I feel like it's a famous actor he says like be water and I was like oh and it's a, in a whole section about flow so you know like the state of flow when you're writing or you're driving or cycling or painting whatever it is you do that just stops you thinking and you're like in the present moment um it just made so much sense and I feel like that's a good way to be like just be water like let it flow whatever you're doing the show is really nothing without you so please like or subscribe or check out our Patreon and this year we've switched it up and you can win a record just for leaving a comment thank you again and we love you peace